someone's like, wow, you must be poor, poor. You have an ugly cat. <laughs> I'm Kat, and this is Uno's story for GeoBeats. Me and a friend were walking to my car, and we saw this little black cat near a dumpster. He meowed at us. <laughs> I meowed back, and then he ran up to us. He was in bad shape, pretty underweight. He didn't have a microchip. I brought him to animal control. <laughs> But I found myself thinking about him a lot, and I was emailing them, seeing how he was doing. A lot of black cats aren't adopted, so I called animal control. Unfortunately, obviously, he was still there. Little did I know, he had already found a home. It was my home. I remember picking him up because his whole face lit up, and he sat in my lap and purred the whole ride home. Oh no, your tongue is out. He's perfect. Calm down, buddy. Save some for later. Licking himself like a weirdo. He is very chill and just down for the ride. He's doing so good! He's not really opposed to anything. Do you want to climb the tree? Oh, let's get some exercise. I started taking him on walks and he wasn't like, yeah, let's go. But he was just like, I'm generally not opposed to this. Ready to go on a walk? He's ready to go. Oh, we're outside. Here's some grass. Little plant eater here. He's about to... New trick. Ooh, you're the king of the gate. Oh, another dog? I'll let that dog oh, walk yes. up to me. Oh, they're getting along. Okay, gentle. I'm not gonna be overzealous about it. I'm just gonna, like, let it happen. What's his name? Oh, no, because of the missing ear. He knows how to manage those situations really well. Oh. Who knows, like, oh. I don't care. Oh. Oh, there it is. He's very thoughtful and just is a wise cat. Cats are so different. They're like a boss. He does get offended when we go on walks and people walk by him and don't pet him. He just like stops and stares at them. And it's really awkward for me. He gets a feeling about this. So when someone offers, I'm always like, please pet my cat. Or he'll like take it personally. I don't get you. I'm not judging you, I'm just saying I don't get you. Sometimes when I walk Uno, people will see me and then cross the street, so they don't have to deal with me. But when people are open to it, it's really nice because Uno loves attention. He is weirdly kind. Ooh, so athletic. I do think Uno is my soulmate. Look how far Uno stuck his head into my water dish. Him and I were destined for each other. He sleeps like a little cutie patootie on a suitcase under my bed. I don't actually know how old he is, and I'm also not keen to really find out. There's no vet that can really fully determine. He lost a lot of teeth just because of the condition he was in when I first found him. Sometimes his lip will get stuck in his tooth, so he'll make weird faces unintentionally. A happy roll? <gasps> oh, can you give me another? <gasps> We're both equally responsible for the level of clinginess we have. When the world went to work from home, wasn't too bad because I got to spend more time with my cat. Look at that smile. As he ages, he definitely likes to sit on my lap even more than before, and I love it. I guess the cat's out of the bag. I've described him to people that have never seen him, and they've said, like, that is the ugliest sounding cat I've ever heard. Oh, you're covering his missing ear. Nice. He's so chill with it. Time to put the cat away. Bye, Uno. See you later. I think he's really cute. You're weird, but I like it. Yeah.